Hey, so a few things have happened um, with our aquascaping and our fish tank world. Uh, we have had a lot of tanks for quite some time and realized that um, over the last couple years that we've been doing it that the cleaning of the tanks and the water changes and to make the fish happy, it's really become too much. So we, after building the decided that we were going to put all the fish in the pond and eliminate all the tanks in the house. So that all we had to do is put, you know, do a, an occasional water change on this. And so the tank in Casey's room, the 100 gallon is gone. And then we put God, a uh, God's wood and tank out here into the pond. And everybody else is out here too. <laughs> Uh, right now the 100 gallon is up for sale, the 150 is up for sale. Um, we realized after we broke it all down and, and brought everybody out here that we have a lot of extra stuff. So we spent thousands on trying to create the perfect, you know, aesthetic for our house. And um, But what I didn't realize was, well I did realize it, but I think it just over time, it just wasn't fun anymore having to get inside the tanks and clean them really good. And so now that we have the pond, we already have like a ton of uh, pumps and, and uh, heaters and all this stuff that we've put money out on. And so now most of it's listed on Craigslist. And uh, you know, this pond is um, 872 gallons, uh, which we love. And now all the fish can grow and Nash and everybody, even the boys, God's wood and tank, wherever they are. Oh, there they are. Everybody can grow to their full size and be happy in here. So that's kind of what we did. And it's awesome. Honestly, I, I really welcome the change and welcome the, the break. <laughs> Because, you know, working full-time most of the time <coughs> and, you know, cleaning all these fish tanks and having six dogs and, and all of that has really taken its toll. Like, just, I mean, you don't have time to clean the house. You don't have time to do, like, really anything. Um, also, currently, um, I was really excited about that job I got at that Whitney Peak place. And, sadly, it didn't work out. Mm. So... Casey's kind of holding the fort for us right now and working his ass off for us. And me, he's a, um, we have a little bit of a savings that we had started. So it's kind of allowed me to pursue kind of what I want to do or whatever job I want to do. I'm so used to working. I can't even think back how long I've been working 40 hours, 50 hours, like just work, work, work. And it's almost weird to not have all that time or to have all this time off now. I'm really grateful for it. I want to put my glasses back on because obviously my eyebrows ain't dead. But yeah, so the Whitney Peak job didn't work out, sadly. But I just think that the Generation Z, being the, the people that are like in their late 20s, early 30s, um, I really think that managers really need to start treating their employees like people and not just walking numbers that come in and wait their tables or like I'm sure this is all over the board all over the world and every different type of career choice but personally as a 43 year old woman I am sick of being talked down to by first of all anybody but especially these kids that can't even you know that are managers now that can't even call you on the phone they got to text you I'm going now I'm all about computers and text I'm, I'm good at all of this stuff but you know when it comes down to you have an issue with my uh, my employment or anything about me, you know, something maybe I did wrong, give me a call, you know, be a grown up because that's how we did it in the old days. Anyway, so for now, this is video is kind of long, but I just want to say we have this beautiful, we have this beautiful pond and I'm going to enjoy the time off that I have as long as I have it. And I'm looking for part-time work at this point because I just really feel like I just don't have it in me anymore to uh, 
be a slave or feel like a slave or be talked down to, especially by some 30 year old boss. <laughs> All right, see you later, just a little update. There are no more fish tanks in the house. Well, there is, but they're all set up to be sold. So, all right, that's just an update. Bye.